What's up everyone? John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here. Over the years that I've been reviewing smartphones, I've seen quite a few, and there haven't been that many that have something new and unique that I have yet to experience. Well, the Samsung Galaxy Beam has just that. It's got a Pico projector built in here. It's a 15 lumen job that can project up to a 50 inch screen. How does that translate on a phone? Does it make it super thick and hard to use? Is the screen that it projects on not gonna be the best? Let's go ahead and take a look at the Galaxy Beam. See how it works. All right, so here is the Galaxy Beam. Light up and share. There's a picture of the phone with the aforementioned beam part of the Galaxy. It's got a Pico projector built in. We'll talk about that guy in a few minutes. We've got some branding on the side and some specs on the back, but of course, we're gonna run through all of this stuff. Uh, thank you to our friends at Negri Electronics for hooking us up with this bad boy. They're the place we go to to get all of our unlocked accessories and phones and tablets. I'll be sure to check them out. Link's going to be down below. All right, let's go ahead and use my ceremonial unboxing scissors. I think it's time for the obligatory big old knife to make a comeback though. We'll go ahead and cut the plastic here, push it off to the side. I have not seen this phone in person. I have not touched this phone in person. Uh, I have not even whispered the name of this phone. So I'm actually very curious to uh, see how this Pico projector works. So we'll pull off the top of the box. It's quite a long box. And here is the Galaxy Beam in a bit of a little shell there. I'm gonna pull that off. And Galaxy Beam, push off to the side for just a quick second. See what else we're going to have in the box and we'll run through some specs, quick start guide. We've got some sort of additional, looks like to have charging an extra battery uh, in there. Uh, we've got a syncing cable, of course the standard USB to micro. Uh, we've got two batteries in here, obviously one is the extra and they are of size 2000 milliamp hours. Got a wall charger, little ear gels, and we've got a um, microphone and headset with obviously the built-in microphone in there. So headset with microphone rather. So push all that off to the side. Let's go ahead and run through the specs here of the Galaxy Beam. Uh, so it is running a bit of an antiquated Android 2.3.6 gingerbread. Uh, it does have TouchWiz 4.0 on it though. Dimension standpoint, 4.8 inches by 2.5 inches by a not thin 0.49 inches, but I suppose we can forgive that because it's got a Pico projector built in. Uh, and with battery, it's gonna weigh 5.1 ounces. The screen is a four inch WVGA affair with a resolution of 480 by 800. Uh, it's got, as we mentioned, uh, two 2,000 milliamp hour batteries. It's gonna be good for about nine hours of talk time. Uh, it's got a Cortex A9. So for those of you that keep track of processors, uh, that's a dual core one gigahertz processor. 768 megabytes of RAM, eight gig internal storage with micro SD expansion. Uh, it's got a five megapixel autofocus camera. I'm gonna peel off the plastic. We're living right there uh, with flash and it can shoot 720p video. On the front, We've got a 1.3 megapixel camera there as well, Bluetooth 3.0, uh, HSPA plus, no LTE here. Um, the Pico projector is 15 lumens and that can put up to a 50 inch screen. Uh, but enough of me talking about it. Uh, let's go ahead and pop in the battery and um, see what this thing looks like. We'll come right back in a moment. All right, so here we've got the Galaxy Beam. Let's go ahead and see what software version it's running. I know that we said it was running gingerbread, but I wanna see it for myself and we are running Android 2.3.6. So the screen here is pretty much what you'd expect from a WVGA resolution screen. It looks nice, touch whiz, works fine. The uh, Cortex A9 processor is very capable, uh, albeit a little bit of a last generation processor. Um, but this phone isn't really about the specs, it's about some other tricks that it's got. Uh, let's continue the tour. Volume rocker up and down. Uh, SIM card's gonna go on the side. On the right hand side, you've got the projector button, which we'll play with in a little bit, power lock button, and your micro SD card slot. I do really like though that Samsung's got the micro SD card slot and the SIM card slot on the side, so you don't have to remove the battery uh, to do that. Quite nice. Uh, so you've got one big button right down there uh, in the middle, and flanked to it on the left and the right are capacitive menu and back buttons. And there's your charge and sync port, as well as a noise canceling microphone. 3.5 millimeter headset jack is also gonna live there. On the back, we've got the uh, five megapixel camera that we mentioned. And then there is that 15 lumens Pico projector, which we'll show you in just a moment. Uh, pretty cool, actually. 
Uh, the rest of this phone is pretty much what we've seen from previous Samsung devices. Um, nothing that exciting here, but you can get a chance to see what they are. Uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at some of the widgets, see if anything may be new they hid in here. And it looks to all be uh, relatively standard Samsung stuff. Not to say bad at all, Samsung's got some very nice widgets. Uh, all right, so let me go ahead and show you the projector. So that's really where all the action happens here. So to activate the projector, you go ahead and hold down this button on the side. Projector kicks on. You've got some options here. You can adjust the focus. You can either use the slider or the volume. You can rotate it, portrait or landscape, and quick pad while it's actually right on the screen. Um, so this is what the options look like. And if you hit OK there, you actually get a few other options. You go into projector, uh, ambience mode, torch light. You can make it into a giant flashlight. Um, and do all kinds of other sort of cool stuff with it. Uh, let me go ahead and show you what the projector actually looks like, since that's the big deal with the Galaxy Beam and probably one of the main things you might be thinking of when you want to pick one of these guys up. All right, so we held down the projector button and now we see a projector option. This is what I just showed you a minute ago. You can adjust focus, rotate, quick pad, we'll go ahead and hit OK. And this is going to pretty much show you exactly what's on your screen. So if you hit home, you can go ahead and navigate just through your phone as you would anywhere else. Uh, if we go back to the projector, we'll go ahead and select that. We'll go ahead and go back to focus and rotation. Let's go ahead and rotate this guy. and Let's see how it looks like when it's playing a video. I uh, will jump into YouTube here. Let's we'll go to applications, YouTube. We already have a Techno Buffalo video here already queued up. We'll go ahead and play on it. Android 4.1. Let it rotate. Let's go ahead and put go. these guys head to head and see what comes out on top. Uh, and actually, it looks pretty decent. Um, the quality, certainly, it's not you know movie theater type quality. Um, but it actually, put down the volume there, looks pretty nice. If you pull it back farther, the screen gets bigger. You can go up to actually a 50 inch uh, screen. As I move closer, obviously, it gets smaller. Uh, and you can adjust focus as you go. You can just put it on the desk and uh, play. So if you're recording a home movie, video your kids, or someone's recital, you just want to show something up on a wall, it's actually a pretty cool. A uh, little thing to show here. Uh, but playing video isn't the only thing that this guy does. Let me go ahead and show you some other features. So I'll go ahead and pause this video. Pause. Go ahead and go home. Turn the rotation back to regular. Looks like it already did that. Uh, and you can actually draw right on the screen as well. So I'll go ahead and go to projector options. I will go ahead and take a look at focus and rotation. Um, hit OK. And uh, we've got some other cool stuff here. So we can go to Quick Pad. You can actually draw right on the screen if it's something that you want to let people know. So you can go to either get a pointer. You can actually use almost like a mouse cursor around there. You can see that. Uh, hopefully, you can see that moving. Uh, we can also go to Pen. We can actually write right on here. Hi, smiley face. Because uh, you want to draw notes, and you can pick the color. Of course, we'll erase all that stuff. Um, but just some neat uh, sort of tweaks that this has here. Um, stuff that you don't might miss some bleh. Just some neat tweaks that this thing has here and stuff you might not necessarily expect from a phone. Uh, playing with a Pico projector is kind of neat, especially one this size. Uh, it's a relatively thin phone. Compare it to sizes of phones maybe from about a year and a half ago. But this guy's rocking a 15 lumen projector, so pretty cool uh, overall. Uh, anyway, guys, what do you guys think of the Samsung Galaxy Beam? Love to hear your thoughts, something you might consider, not consider, uh, and why. I'm John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo, and I will beam you in the next video. Bye-bye.